Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of using uh, my Doji application to run a remote Windows Update scan um, and um, collecting uh, that data uh, remotely as well. So we're going to use Doji to deploy a, um, a VB script to initiate remotely uh, Windows Update, and we're going to execute that remotely, and then we're going to collect the log uh, remotely as well. So uh, Doji is a, a TCL HTTPD web server that I use uh, instead of using just raw scripts and PS exec. Uh, I built everything into my own application uh, and I named it Doji. Uh, I have several um, uh, videos showing uh, the, the different uses of it. So um, in this demonstration what we're going to do here is um, we're going to use a single device method and we're going to deploy um, a WSUS media uh, I just call it WSUS copy and uh, let's do it to this computer first here. Uh, okay so we give it the username and password, the credentials. So what we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to deploy this script here. I compiled it using script cryptor into an executable and uh, we'll just open this up and take a look at it real quick. And these are just basic Windows up um, uh, uh, scripts, admin scripts that you can download off the internet. And here for this one, we're going to, uh, you could use the wsuscan2.cap for an offline, offline. This is going to be an online scan. And we're just going to invoke the Microsoft Update session. And um, <clears throat> so in, in order to execute that remotely through um, uh, PS exec, I compile it with an executable. These are Windows 10 machines, so um, they're a little bit more finicky than the Windows 7 machines were. And so this machine here um, uh, is going to be here, 135. And here in the C temp uh, directory, we're going to create, and we're going to actually deliver that, um, uh, deliver those files. Uh, okay, so if we kick this off, this is going to call um, PS exec in my scripts folder here. Uh, so here's my WSUS copy. So all of my scripts that I deploy via PS exec, PS exec lives in here as well. And so we're just going to um, copy um, uh, this media here. I'm going to copy the um, uh, anything in that folder that exists star dot star I'm going to copy to see temp w sus So here it is, C temp w sus now exists. And so now I, uh, you know, we're going to execute this executable file remotely using the same tool. So here we have another script w sus exec and that is just going to uh, uh, invoke that executable file remotely, right? So I just need to change this to exec. And this will kick off eventually. And it will show us that it's uh, calling PS exec. And now it's going to um, remotely um, execute that file. And it's going to kick off a scan remotely on that machine. And it will create a log file here because that's what our batch file tells it to do. And uh, here we go. So it's already starting to build. And it might take a while. Okay, so it's already finished. So here it is. It's uh, uh, an output and it shows us what this machine is, uh, is vulnerable for. Uh, so what we're going to do is now remotely collect that log and move it to a mapped drive. So we can do all of this remotely. So now uh, we would just execute the uh, WSUS log copy.bat. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull that back into this logs folder, uh, which is a mapped drive. It's a remote, uh, uh, it's a mapped drive. So we can remotely collect that log from that machine and put it here so we can view it. So we could do all of that remotely. We could do it on a list of machines. I'm doing it on a single machine just to show um, uh, the functionality of how we can uh, remotely uh, execute WSUS, uh, Windows Update, and collect that information 
uh, review that information, and then, then the next step we could do is we can uh, remotely deploy that batch file, which I have some um, uh, videos up there of that, and I'll uh, I'll take this um, uh, example here, and in my next video we'll actually um, uh, take. Let's see, one of these we could either we could try to um, deploy that one remotely using this tool as well. Um, update for Adobe Flash Windows 10. So, uh, okay, so on my next video, what I'll do is I'll take one of these executable file or, or patches and we, we will deploy that patch via this same uh, utility. And just to take a look at um, uh, some of the code, uh, so, you know, here's the batch file that we deploy via my, um, uh, via my utility, and we're just building this uh, PS exec string here, and um, and then we're executing it down here, right? So this is my VB script um, that's executed when we um, run these doji methods. As you can see, it's the Win32 batch dev 7, and so the TSP page actually executes the VB script, and that's how we get all of this um, uh, information remotely through um, uh, through the use of PS exec. So I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration, and look for my next video, which will show us how to deploy the patch that we've found that uh, we found vulnerabilities for. Thank you.